I don't. I cannot say that uh, the training methods are one method is wrong, other is correct. We only see the results. So, for example, I start training if I am in non non competition season. I do mostly weights and maybe once twice per week sparring at the table. If I have competitions ahead, like nearby, for example, two or three months, I start to do more sparring, more time at the table. Before years, when uh, we had, we didn't have this problem in Bulgaria. We were gathering all the Bulgarian team and make two trainings per day. Uh, for example, most of the times we were sparring, but when our arms are sore after the second, third day, we started going walking in the mountains, swimming, and hard sparring only in the evening. So you race for like every day. It's like every day for one or two weeks. Depends uh, because most of us go to work and so on. So we gather for one week somewhere and we do this. Very light training, like no hitting, no hurting each other. Just no, pulling. no, no. Pulling uh, reasonably. What about weights? Like what's your maximum like what records in weight? Like pronation, side pressure? Uh, actually, I don't have records in pronation. <laughs> it's uh, everyone asks me if I have records in pronation, but I I don't do pronation on weights. For example, I have records on uh, on uh, lift ups, <laughs> on uh, one. Uh, it's like homemade equipment that we pull for back pressure. We'll pull the weight like this, also on uh, biceps curls, but isolated on uh, on the bench. So only with the arm, and I do those uh, bigger muscle groups like when I don't have competitions nearby. And then I have some results on the weights. But otherwise, the pronation, those small muscle groups that are necessary for arm wrestling, we train them only at, at sparring with opponents. You, you train side pressure? Yes, but also mostly on sparring. How about one arm pull-ups? I've seen you learn it. Lots of yeah, I did a lot in the past, but maybe it uh, reflected that my technique at the table. I started making a lot of mistakes because of it. Because I feel strength here in, when I do one arm power ups and I got strength in the fingers in my back. So when I went on the table, I wanted only to <laughs> drag my opponent like this. But this caused the problem that my wrist went low and then they pressed me very easy. Yeah. So I started to eliminate those moves. When I have competitions in short periods, I don't do one arm pull-ups. Or I don't do so much.